Hello everyone, welcome to my today's um, presentation. The title for this presentation is a RFID based bookshelving system. It um, was my final year project. My name is Peter Agbogai Toya Jr. I'm a student of University of East London and this project was conducted in November 2013. Welcome to the full house of the project. Now in this project, I'll be describing and explaining. I'll be describing and explaining the components used first before we go into the full details of the project. Now this is um, a PIC sixteen, okay, microcontroller, which was used for the making of the project. It was um, actually. Um, a PIC 16F877A microcontroller, okay, and this is um, a Max 232 microchip, which is used for the interfacing of the microcontroller to the system. Now, if we look here, we have about four capacitors. These capacitors are actually used to stabilize the the voltage that works in this PIC. So whenever we use a max 232 it is a must that we must connect capacitors to it all right and the capacitors are about um, 10 microfarad okay about 10 microfarad capacitors as we can see and then we have um, two resistors there the resistors are actually used to stabilize the frequency of the MAX-232 which is later on sent to through this um, DB9 as you can see here there's a DB9 here so this is the DB9 system which goes through the UART cord that is connected down to my PC okay now when we come back to the system, we see two voltage regulators were used. This is about um, 12 volt voltage regulator and this is 5 volt voltage regulator with a capacitor. So this is actually the power circuit of this system and a crystal of about 20,000 um, 20, was used. Okay, 20,000, that's 20 kilo has was used. All right, so um, this is the power circuit, which has the red and the black wire for the positive and the negative. Now all these other wires are connected here, where one goes to my RFID. All right, I have two RFIDs here, readers. So this is RFID reader A. All right, I could quickly show you this. This is RFID reader A. A is written on it. All right, and then um. I also have here the wire going down to RFID reader B. Okay, I could quickly show you this also. All right. So now these RFIDs are connected to my shelf. All right. So this is a a brief example of a bookshelf, a bookshelving system. All right. So um, before I proceed, let me just quickly explain what um, my project is all about. Um, the RFID based bookshelving system talks about the use of RFID okay for its um, for its um, connection so the RFID based bookshelving system uses RFID technology in order for books to be placed in their correct um, locations so this system is actually designed to locate misplaced books for example in a school library when books are borrowed from the shelf and maybe after studying we um, mistakenly dropped the book in the wrong shelf so um, this system actually helps the librarian to identify that um, to identify misplaced books in on any bookshelf in the library alright so that is um, the basic thing about this system 
could be used in any schools or any university even in a personal home maybe your child finish um finishes um studying a book and then she drops or he drops the book in the wrong shelf so you can easily identify that your book has been misplaced all right so i hope that this um project will be able to convince you that RFID is better than backwards. Now, when we talk about backwards in comparing with RFID, we look at um, the backward technology. It has always been used in the library system, but presently we need to change it, okay? Because um, the um, backward uses line of sight. It sends a light wave that must be in the same line of sight with the, the, the scanned object. So if the scanned object is not is not um, if the scanned object is not in the same line of sight something like this okay if the scanned object or this object is not in the same line of sight with the reader of the barcode you cannot get the information programmed into this all right so it is actually um it is actually um not as good as rfid Okay, so the RFID technology doesn't need a line of sight and if the barcode also is um, having a wet surface or moist, it's, it's unable to send its data. So this also affects the use of such system. So that is why it is better for us to use the RFID technology in the implementation of such system in the library. Okay, so now let's come back to the project now as we can see every one of the circuits are connected to my pc we are using a 12 volt um power supply 12 volt power supply but i'll be using um about um two two um nine volts which gives us about 18 volts but um the voltage regulator will be stepping it down to 12 volt and that of the microcontroller will be stepping it down to 5 volt so it's still okay for the system but please don't try this at home okay it's very very dangerous so now i will be connecting my system okay i'll be turning on my system and now let's see what happens to the readers when i turn it on let's see what happens to the two readers i think um they'll, they'll blink their light will blink when i turn this on okay as we can see the lights of the readers are blinking showing that they are active and we heard the tune from the start which um, proved that um, it was turned on so now coming to the system we can see the GUI system we can see the GUI system okay um, a library was created using um, Microsoft Visual Studio 2008 which um, after clicking okay let me close this first when click when I click on this, the library, okay, the RFID library book, okay, that's actually how I saved it. When I click on it, it opens the library window. All right, the library window shows me that please enter COM port number, which was programmed in my code. All right, in my code, I'm to enter the COM port number. And as we can see on my system, I actually connected it to this port. Now, how do I find the um, port COM port number? Now let me quickly show us how to find your COM port number. Now you can quickly go to your window. Let's close this. Okay, you go to your desktop and click. Now the desktop brings out a new window. Now on my computer, on my computer you just right click, all right, and go to properties. When the properties comes up, then you quickly go to um, device management. okay device management now when you go to device management you go down you see universal serial okay no you see ports com and lpt all right com and lpt you just click the sidebar there now you see now it's showing me the com port that my um, device is connected to this is com4 okay as you can see here com4 okay com4 all right, so that's actually how to find out the COM port you've connected the system to. So now let's go back to our window. I double click on the FRO RFID library and then I enter COM4. I enter COM4. 
okay and then I click confirm okay and then I click confirm and then the system is opened click so now it is open okay so now we come back to our system and then um, in each book there's a tag in each book there's a tag so now we scan in tag A see I scan tag A but nothing happened but now this book is having tag B in it all right so if I scan tag B in shelf A what happens if I scan tag B in shelf A what happens now there's a message on the screen showing that there's an error okay that book B is misplaced this shelf is for book A all right book B is misplaced this shelf is for book A now what happens if I scan the book um, book B in shelf B let's see the whole system okay what happens now you see so what happens um, wait. when I scan A tag A book and B shelf okay we also see a window try to make it clear for you to see book A is misplaced this shelf is for book B electronics alright so that is just um, the basic principle of my entire work okay so I am again Peter Abboga, a graduate of the University of East London. All right. So I hope to bring you more projects in the nearest future. Like um, the second project I did was on digital clock, and I hope that we get to meet again very very soon. Adios.